In this experiment, we will see how connecting resistors in series and parallel connections impacts the current flow in a circuit. For this, we will need 3 to 5 resistors. We are using 1000 ohm resistors. A 9 volt battery connected to a battery snap and crocodile clips. We have connected a red crocodile clip to the positive terminal of the battery and a black crocodile clip to the negative terminal of the battery. We will also need insulated wires cut into small pieces, a torch bulb or an LED mounted on a torch bulb holder with terminals connected to insulated wires. Here again we have connected a red insulated wire to the positive terminal and a black insulated wire to the negative terminal of the bulb holder. This color scheme will help us identify which is the positive and which is the negative terminal. In the first setup, we will connect the red crocodile clip to the red wire from the torch bulb holder and the black crocodile clip to the black wire. You will notice the bulb is now glowing. Observe how brightly the LED or the torch bulb is glowing when connected directly to the battery. In the series connection setup, we will start with disconnecting one of the crocodile clips. Now, connect a resistor to the positive lead wire of the torch bulb holder using a small piece of the insulated wire you have cut up. Clip the red crocodile clip to the free end of the resistor. Check if the LED is glowing. And check if it is glowing less or more brightly than before. Disconnect the positive crocodile clip again and connect one more resistor to the free end of the first resistor using the insulated wire piece. Reconnect the positive crocodile clip and check if the torch bulb's brightness changes again. We are now connecting rest of the resistors and we shall observe the brightness of the bulb. You will see the bulb is glowing significantly less brightly than before. Why does this happen? For the parallel connection setup, disconnect both the crocodile clips. Keep the connection between the resistors intact for ease of connection. Connect one end of the chain of resistors to the red lead wire from the torch bulb holder and the other to the black lead wire. Now, connect the positive crocodile clip to the junction where the torch bulb holder's red lead wire is connected to the resistors and connect the black crocodile clip to the junction where the black lead wire from the torch bulb holder is connected to the resistors. By doing so, you have now connected the resistors in parallel to the torch bulb. Now check the LED or torch bulb's brightness and compare it to when it was connected to the battery directly and when it was connected in series with the resistors. A resistor is a passive two terminal electrical component that creates a resistance to the flow of current in a circuit. Resistors are used in electronic circuits to reduce current flow to the connected components. Modern resistors are made of carbon, metals or metal oxides. They consist of a thin conductive material wrapped in an insulating material. Resistors connected in a circuit are indicated by a zigzag line. As per Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance. In other words, current and resistance in a circuit 
are inversely proportional to each other. When the resistors are connected in series to the power source, the total effective resistance in the circuit is sum of the resistance of all the resistors connected in series in that circuit. As the resistance in the circuit increases, the current flow to the LED torch bulb decreases. Hence, its brightness decreases as resistors get added to the circuit. We could see in the experiment that the brightness of the LED progressively decreased with addition of resistors in series. Now, in a parallel connection, when the resistors are connected in parallel to the LED torch bulb, the current has two paths to flow through in the circuit and the voltage across these paths is the same and equal to the voltage of the battery. Thus, you will notice the LED torch bulb glows with the same brightness as before when connected directly to the battery.